Today I'll show you how to track changes in Microsoft Word. This feature lets you keep track of the changes you make in your document, which will be handy for writing reports, final pieces, and other types of academic writing. First, open Microsoft Word. I have prepared here a document about Microsoft 3D models. Now, there are some changes that I want to make, but I want to track them all to know what kind of changes that I've made to my document and maybe come back to it if needed. To activate your track changes, go to your review tab and in the tracking group, turn on the track changes switch to on. Now, every changes that you make in this document will be tracked. For example, in this title here, I want to make it longer by adding unleashing creativity across applications. If you add the additional text, the text will turn red and underlined. This indicates the change that you have made to the document. If you delete the text, a balloon will appear on the right side of your document, showing us the deleted text. Again, if you add the text to the document, the text will turn red and underlined like so. Other than tracking the things you add or delete in your document, you can also add comments to parts of your document. To add comments, select the text that you want to comment on, go to your comments group in your review tab, and select the new comment button. A balloon will appear on the right side of your document, and you can add the comment that you want to insert. In your tracking group at the top here, you can see a button that says All Markup. If you click on it, there are three other options that you can click on. If you click on Simple Markup, Microsoft Word will only show simple red lines on the left side of your document to indicate the place within the document where you made the changes. If you click on All Markup, it will show you all the detailed changes that you've made in this document, just like our initial view. If you click on No Markup, it will show you the preview of what your document will look like with the changes you've made. And if you click on Original, it will show you what your document looks like before the changes you've made. Back to the comment we've added earlier, if you decide to delete it, you can simply click on the text you've added the comment to and click on Delete in your comments group. Or if you want to resolve the comment, simply click on Resolve button. Now, we already know how to track the changes we made in our document. Next, we can decide whether we want to accept or reject the changes we've made to have the final version of our document. To accept or reject the changes we've made, select onto the text we made the changes to earlier, and simply click on Accept in your Changes group. Your red underlined text will turn into black, indicating that your change is now fixed. Next, just click onto the Accept button again, as it will automatically accept the next edit made in our document. Or, you can also decide to reject the changes made by clicking on to reject, and Microsoft Word will undo the change made back to the original form. Do this to the rest of your document. If you find this time consuming, you can also accept the changes made all at once by clicking onto the drop down in the accept button and select the accept all changes option. That's it! That's how you track changes in Microsoft Word. Very easy yet useful, right? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, comment down below for any questions, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Make the most of your MS Office skills and maximize your professional performance. Till next time!